The idea is that um, we're all different, both you know, in, our, in our features, but in the way we get sick as well. I think there's a, there's a situation that is quite incredible in context of, of psychiatry is that the drugs that we're using are basically the same. They have been the same for the past 60 years. It's very hard to find a treatment that might help all people living with a disorder. We're probably in a better position to find treatments that actually target a specific social problem and through research understand where in the brain that problem lives and actually trying to target it and change it. Our vision is to translate finding from basic science uh, how we're going to treat people. Fundamentally, we also have to provide new ways to treat. We have to invent what is not known. We have to invent what is not, what we don't even think of yet. Brain imaging allows us to track and better understand what the mechanism is both of treatment and also of not responding to the treatment, which allows us also in future to actually fine tune and tweak our treatment so that it's more personalized to individual differences. Marginalized people with more severe mental illnesses often require a combination of approaches and interventions over a fairly long period of time. It's kind of feet on the floor and out the door is, is getting out there and engaging people in the community and providing a range of different supports. The cognitive approaches that we've developed are outreach based, uh, very individualized and quite intensive. It's often kind of alarm clocks and signs and reminders and engaging people to kind of more successfully navigate some of the challenges they, they experience in their lives. And what we've found is over a short period of time, you can make a pretty major difference in terms of supporting the person in their own self-care and their own ability to manage their own illness. Through both funding and philanthropy, it provides stability. So we can go for those long-term projects. We can retain expertise. We can make sure that we really at the top of our game large donations that get research centers going. It's just amazing what happens in those spaces. It brings together a number of investigators working at problems from slightly different angles. Cambridge is doing a fantastic job in optimizing, developing new methods. And I think the, the, the Campbell Institute, by supporting you know, brain science as a whole, uh, has the potential to make a huge difference in that aspect.